Step into Breckberg, an extremely detailed and immersive yet believable planet coaster theme world inspired by Ruckberg at Fantasia Land. Explore an exciting world of innovation and invention, where every aspect of steampunk and industrial theming was meticulously crafted to create a unique and unparalleled experience. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. Today I present to you Breckberg, created by Boohammer, also on Steam known as Zorok, and they are a builder in this community, and uh, they say, by Zorok, inspired by Fantasia Land, fly, never seen this level of detail and realism before, he out -fanta fantasized the Fantasia Land. <laughs> is this a suggestion? I don't know what's going on here. Either way, this was looking absolutely phenomenal. You can see the Fantasia Land inspiration there of Rookberg. And the amount of detail gone into this is jaw dropping. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Why don't we jump right on into it? Okay, welcome, welcome everybody. We have a bit of a mini park area here. I love that it's like a vertical slice out of um, just, just a set. It's phenomenal. I might have to get the volume down just a little bit. Can't hear myself think in this park. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a vertical slice. Breckberg, I mean, the detail in this is just next level. And it's running beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. I'm getting a butter smooth 60 FPS. I love the way that this is looking. With reshade on, it is just next level. Wow. This is immaculate. This is what I love to see from a coaster spotlight, everybody. If you have anything to this level, a vertical slice, if you feel inspired by this, definitely try your hand at something like this and send it on in. No need to create a whole park and a thousand rides and spend the next two years of your life building a, a park when you could just make an experience. A singular, incredible, handcrafted experience. And that is what we're seeing here today by Zorok. Zorok? Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, I got the coaster uh, selected here. There's a little restaurant in here. Custom images. Looking good. Great ambience as well. Lots of sounds. You can hear the steampunkness of it. Very cool. I'm actually kind of excited to check this, check this out at nighttime. Let's do that. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Interesting choice that the lighting over here, the pink and blue. I'm not mad at it, but I definitely feel like the, the bright yellow bulbs work really well with the steampunk too. Brickburg. Fun play on words there as well. Let's head up the queue here. Give this coaster a ride in multiple perspectives, including night. Yeah, this level of artistry is just unparalleled, as mentioned in their introduction. You, it's almost impossible to do a whole park to this level of detail. So I do appreciate and understand the reasoning behind just doing like a little section of a park. And we'll take a look at all that from a bird's eye view at the end here. Um, so you can get a feel for everything, but even though it's a vertical slice, we are here, we are immersed, we are captivated, and I have no idea how much park is out there or how much content is out there. All that matters is what is in right in front of me, and I think that's done very, very well to make me feel immersed like I'm here. Only build what you need to see. And this, this does a perfect example of that, creating a, an immense, incredible experience with um, an immense amount of quality at a smaller quantity. But as we go deeper and deeper and deeper, as you can see, there's, there's quite a lot in here. Quite a lot indeed. A lot of guests in the park as well. It's the full experience. All right, put your stuff in the lockers and head over to the platform. We are almost here. This is crazy. What a really intricate and phenomenal queue walk. And there's even some posters and stuff. 
Cool. Very cool. Okay, here we are. We have an inverted coaster. Coleflug. <laughs> okay, it's a suspended steel hydro. Wait, what? Is there two coasters in this park? Oh, he swapped out the train. Interesting. It's about a kilometer in length, just under. Four inversions, airtime count four. It's green across the board. G-forces are all pretty good, but the visuals is what's going to be the most impressive selling point of this overall. There's a Brickberg on-ride custom audio. Hopefully we don't have any issues with this. Uh, maybe I'll turn the volume down just a little bit on that, just in case, and then we can out sound effect everything. Turn the volume back up, and then uh, we'll start the ride off with a seat view. Let's go.
<laughs> I've seen a few of you guys comment on uh, Orbit View and how you liked it, but sometimes it's very hard to control. I think I did a pretty good job following it in Orbit there. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see the Orbit View or not. But holy good googly moogly, let's talk about it. This uh, boarding station here at nighttime is like insanely realistic. I cannot believe all the hits of light bouncing off all the little bits of metal and stuff. This looks insane to me. I gotta say, I have seen many, many steampunk creations and we recently did one just uh, about a month ago at this point that I thought was just remarkable. I don't know, it's hard to say because this is the first steampunk creation. Like look at the way the light is hitting all these little bits of metal. Um, it looks so insane to me absolutely insane and i don't know if it's because it's the first steampunk creation i'm ever seen in 4k with reshade but for me it's looking to be the best steampunk creation i have ever seen it's there's so much detail and metal it, and brick and it just all comes together it's so impeccable all the little bolts and divots and pieces and doodads and pipes like it was eye candy start to finish it's just um glorious to look at absolutely every little bit about it was breathtaking jaw dropping just remarkable and i can't believe what i'm seeing again I'd have to go back and look at some other of my top tier steampunk creations. I gotta turn this down, I can't think. I gotta look, I gotta go back and look at some of my top tier steampunk creations because again, I've only, this is the first one I've ever seen in 4K, but I feel like there's something about it that is just a little bit above what I've seen in the past. This is really, really nice for like a singular coaster spotlight. It's pretty damn phenomenal. I'm, I'm really impressed by this. It looks great and, and talking about a vertical slice, as you can see here, it's built in uh, even like the realism around the back. I love it. You made a vertical slice, but said, I'm going to uh, detail the back as a facility, make it all look like it was uh, built for a theme park, almost as if you could place it into a theme park. And then you go on in and it's uh, a whole different realm. I really like the way that this was constructed from the exterior. And then when you're down there in, in the mix of it all, you feel like you're in Brickburg. You feel like you're in Fantasia land. It's, it's completely immersive, but looking at it on the outside, it's all a facade. It's all smoke and mirrors. Oh, look at this. Remove for FPS boost. I bet you this would have melted my old computer. <laughs> That's hilarious. There's all these like help you and boost your FPS stuff. What are all these essential items? These are really cool. I think these are theme maker toolkit and that's probably why everything's popping so much. Essential beams, nice to have. So yeah, normally here you can test wh whether you have the theme maker toolkit items I used. Oh, so if something didn't download, it would not be here. That makes sense. So these, if you're interested in how they made this so amazing, it's because of these metal pieces. They really look good. These are amazing Theme Maker Toolkit pieces. Really nicely done. So if you wanted to make uh, Steampunk, open this up. Links are down in the description below. Go to the workshop, give it a download, and then you'll have all of these in your kit items as you can see here i can now build with them so just simply by subscribing to this creation you will download all of the items that you need so you can get building with that that's really cool yeah this definitely probably would have been a commu computer melter before because of all these tmtk and uh they have all these ways to optimize the park and all that but surprisingly i got a solid 60 fps throughout this ride experience and uh, i'm very pleased to see it in its full quality and in fact you could probably do even a bigger area now um but i think this was a great vertical slice for a coaster spotlight this is what i love to see from coaster spotlights and uh, in my previous coaster videos, I've been talking about a contest. This falls in line with some of the stuff I've been talking about, just making like a little park all for a coaster. And then you have like this shell on the outside. I think this could be like a great contest idea right here. Let me know if you guys like that idea or not. <clears throat> If you would like to do like a immersive slice out of a, a theme park area all for the design of one singular coaster that's something i would like to explore as well try to figure it out what i want to do going forward but we're definitely running out of like super high detailed coaster spotlights after a thousand 50 episodes. I think this marks, this is episode 1050. <laughs> We're definitely not going to make it to 2000. I'll tell you that much. There's just not enough stuff out there, but I could definitely hang my hat off and say that I basically featured everything that everyone's ever submitted pretty much that was uh, above a, you know, a certain quality standard. So 
we've definitely featured all the best of the best over the years but we're still finding gems like this here today this was not featured yet it was featured here today and um you know it was sitting in the inbox for a while now i actually it's not been sitting in the inbox too long it was submitted in uh september 12th 2023 so at the time of this recording it is september 27th so it's only like two weeks old this one in theory but yeah phenomenal job to the creator on this one mr zarak come join us on the discord love to see what you do next if you create another vertical slice coaster like this definitely getting a fast pass from me i'll be featuring it right away what did you guys think of brickberg throw your comments down below and that is going to do it for us in today's episode of coaster spotlight thank you all so much for watching and i hope you have an absolutely wonderful day bye now